Hey, so I was working on something today that I realized a lot of you might be trying to figure out on Wix, so I figured I'd do a quick tutorial. So free offers, they're super popular, um, a great way to grow your mailing list and really easy to do. A lot of times what we're doing is we're creating PDFs um, with either tutorials or guides or things like that, checklists that we're providing to our clients um, as some free value in order to get their email address. Uh, but you might be wondering, well, how do I deliver that to somebody on Wix? And there are a lot of different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one that's really easy where you're getting an email contact, but you're not having to set up any kind of automation for an email. They're actually going to get to download their guide right away, which I prefer like as a user, when I give someone my email address, I just want what I... I didn't pay for, but I just want what I signed up for. I don't want to have to go into my email and then find, you know, this free guide. So I'm going to show you how to set it up as an instant download once somebody meets that criteria of providing their email to you. So this is a client site that I'm working on at the moment, and she has a free PDF that she gives out that is like a morning routine. Um, and so in order to get that morning routine, we want you to sign up to the email list. So the first thing that I did was obviously design what I wanted her site to look like and what I wanted that offer to look like. We have a button here that says get your free guide now. And so now we really just need to connect it to what we want it to do. Uh, I use light boxes a lot in Wix. It's an easy way to kind of pop up a message. Um, and so what I did was I created a light box that is going to be that email capture. And Wix makes this really easy. So if you go to add, your add panel, you're going to see a bunch of options. And if you scroll down to contacts and forms, um, just kidding, interactive. If you scroll down to interactive and go to light boxes, you kind of have some pre-made options for you. So oftentimes I'll just use one that's pre-made as the template and then I'll customize it according to the brand that I'm working with. Um, but this subscribe is a great option. It's right in the center of your screen. You can also opt for something either on the top, on the sidebar, on the bottom. Here's another one that's really central. Um, but you will go ahead and click that. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a light box on your website, which is basically a mini page. Um, you can make it do a lot of different things for you. Um, then you're going to be updating your message. So say, you know, this was a morning routine. You might want to say, grab your free guide here. And then um, whatever kind of information that you want to gather from somebody in order to give them this free resource, you want to include here either as text um, or include it, um, you know, in the fields that you're going to capture. So um, this, the nice thing about doing it this way is you already have a form set up for you and it's already a subscriber's form. So all that we're asking for with this kind of built in form on the light box is the email address, but we might want some more information from our client, um, you know, as it pertains to our business. So maybe you want to ask them their first name and their birth date or something like that. You can add as many fields um, as you need to for this purpose. I think it's always nice to have a first name and an email. So I'll go ahead and I'll add a new field and then uh, it's gonna pop up some recommended fields for me, like a first name, a last name, that type of thing. Um, and, I, and I do wanna add a first name, so I'll just go ahead and add that. Um, and just like everything on Wix, everything is drag and drop. So say you want to give a first name before you get an email, you're just gonna select that field and move it around to where you wanna move it around to. Um, a lot of the times a first name and an email is really all you need for these type of offers, but like I said, if there's more information that you want from a client, you can ask for it here. Um, and then obviously you can customize the, the design elements of all of this. So what this actual looks like, what color and what font your text is, what color and font your button is. Um, we're not going to get into the design things on this tutorial. I'm just assuming you already kind of know how to customize those things. Um, but what we do want to do is now make it so that when somebody fills out this form, that's going to trigger them the permission to download the PDF that we've created. So uh, if, if you select the form and you hover over to the left here and you see form settings, you want to click that and that's going to give you a list of options 
for when somebody is filling out this form. So everything from where this information is going to be stored on the back end of Wix, if you have a bunch of different email lists or, um, you know, anything like that, you can manage those settings within here. So for instance, I'll often name my free offer the name of the form. Um, right now it's just set to the generic subscribers, but because I have set this up to be a free offer, I'll probably rename this form to free offer form. Um, that way when I'm looking at it on the back end, I can see, oh, this was somebody who signed up for a free offer. That's how I got their email. Um, but the most important thing when we're just talking about getting that free offer to your client is going to be in the submit message. So there are a lot of different things that you can have happen when somebody submits. You can just have a simple message appear like, thanks for submitting. You can have um, them reroute to a certain page on your website. You can take them off of your website to a different link. Um, but what we want to do is we want to show a link to a file download. Uh, because what we've done is outside of Wix, we've made a PDF. I use Canva for all of my design. Um, and you've made a PDF that is this really valuable free offer. So you're going to upload that file here. So you're going to select um, show link to file upload and then you're just going to choose whatever PDF you want to upload here. Um, I don't oh I do have it here okay so I'm just going to choose this was the morning routine kit PDF so I'm going to go ahead and choose that as my file you'll see that it's uploaded here I get the little green check mark um, and then I, you can even customize what the download thing, link says so you can have it say something like thanks for signing up here's your free guide click here to download whatever you want it to say there. Um, and then you'll see that this message that used to be just like, thanks for submitting, is now an actionable step for your customer. So it has become a download link. Um, one of the benefits to this is that it's instant access for your customer. One of the downsides is they might exit out of here and miss the link or not get the link. Um, so I do always suggest making this link very, um, noticeable, making it very obvious. So I'll actually go in and I'll edit this to probably be quite a bit bigger, um, probably make it in a font color that's gonna be noticeable. Um, but if somebody does happen to close out of um, this window before they've clicked their download, you can always send a backup email. Um, and you can even set up an automation so that you know after a certain period of time, that somebody's done this free guide, um, you can automate like, uh, hey, have you been enjoying the guide? Did you miss your download link? Here it is again. Um, but I personally know that when I'm giving my email address, I just want instant access. I just want to be able to get to the thing that I want. I don't wanna have to go into my email for it. So I like this method. Um, like I said, there are, there are many other ways to do this, but this is like the instant access uh, version. Um, the last step after you have your light box designed and I mean, I could play around with the design of it all day. It's very, very plain right now. This isn't how I usually have things look. But for the purpose of um, this tutorial, let's just say this is all set up, ready to go. I know that I'm getting a first name and email. When they do that, they're going to get the, the link to download. So what I can do is I can exit out of this light box. And the last step is going to be to connect that button. So I know I have this button on the home page, and that's what I want to trigger that whole process that starts. Um, so I'm going to select the button, and then I'm going to choose the link option. And like always on Wix, you have a lot of different choices for what your buttons can link to. They can link to other pages on your site. They can link right to a document, to an email that automatically pops up. But we want to link this button to the light box that we just created. So we'll select light box on the left hand column. And then if you have multiple light boxes on your website, which is common, I use light boxes quite a bit, um, then you just want to make sure you're collecting the you're connecting the correct light box. So we're co connecting it to that free morning routine. That looks good. And then I always like to preview to either preview or publish just to make sure everything is kind of working how we want it to. So what should happen now when I click this button is that I should be taken to that light box. It should pop open. And it does. And you can tell this is one that I had already made because it's slightly more pretty <laughs> than the one I had just walked you through. But um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this would look like for a client. So my name is Ashley. I'm gonna provide my email here and then I'm gonna click submit. And then I am going to be able to click here and get to that PDF that I was promised. Um, and that's it. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. Um, on the back end of your Wix website is where you're gonna be viewing those um, form submissions and you have so many different options for what that can look like. Um, I can go over those in a different tutorial, but um, yeah, here this is just a really simple, straightforward way. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions um, or ideas, feedback, whatever, <laughs> let me know in the comments and thanks, have a great day.